Hello everybody, it is Friday, December 1st. Oh my gosh, it's December already. And today's Facebook Friday is a little bit different than normal. Uh, sending cheer is our focus today, but this is actually day three of my 12 days of Christmas series. So um, it's a little different than normal. There's not a PDF today, but there will be a PDF at the end of the 12 days that will have all the projects in it. Um, there is a blog post for today's projects. Uh, there is a supply list and measurements within the blog post, um, but I am typing up a giant PDF for all the 12 days projects, which I will have on day 13. <laughs> It'll be done at the end. I'm still working on designing all of those projects. It's a lot. Um, it's going to be 25 projects, I think, because today we actually have three. Um, we'll see if I can get three done for next Friday also. But anyhow, welcome to all of you. I hope you've had a good week. I hope you had a nice Thanksgiving. Um, I cannot believe, I, I mean, we always say, I can't believe it's already December, but it is. And we are in full Christmas mode around here. I hope you guys are ready for Christmas because I've got a lot of Christmas things for you. Um, today, sending cheer. Do you guys have this bundle? I love this bundle. It's so good. Hi, Judy. Um, this is a great bundle. These actually are little tags and, um, I'm actually, um, cutting off the tag part <laughs> for two of the projects, but they also make, um, if you want to make tags with them really cute. And I'm going to show you some other, we made at my team meeting last month, we used this bundle to make giant gift tags. So I'll show you those at the end. Um, but let me jump through a few things and then we'll get to our projects. There's a new all-star tutorial bundle PDF as of today. And actually I haven't even put it in my PDF store, but I want to show you. Also, I ran out of paper and I don't have the whole thing printed. Um, I usually like to have the whole thing printed to show you guys, but this is actually month six of our six month series. We do these um, in six month series. So next month will be the start of a new subscription period. If you like to subscribe to the All Star Tutorial, video class, tutorial bundle, whatever we call it. Um, this month's um, suite is the Garden Walk Suite, the Modern Garden Suite. Um, I'm actually coincidentally using this for Club Create in December as well. So I actually have two modern garden garden walk pdfs in my pdf store one will be the all-star that has the 12 projects and then the other one will be for club create i'll show you that in a minute this is the pdf that i give away for free every month um, when you spend 50 dollars with me and online and i email it out about every other week to everybody who's ordered um it's also available in my PDF store for $15. They are video tutorials designed by 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And this month, let's see if I can hold them up. I made three little mini milk cartons. This paper is so beautiful and it has some pretty different coloring, you know, like I felt like I needed to make three different color schemes. So this is what my project is this month. Um, if you are interested, I will put this in my PDF store this afternoon, um, but if you are a subscriber, I emailed it to you this morning. And if you shop with me this month, I will email it to you for free. All right, and uh, it's a great, it has measurements, supply list, everything, it's really good. Okay, so that is that. Um, I have some extra kits that I wanted to let you guys know about. Um, they are ready to go except for the product. I'll have to order product for a couple for these. Um, but the Berry Christmas class kits, I have these still. If you'd like one of these, please email me. Um, you can go back on my blog and find out the details. This is a card class. And then I have this month's Club Create kit also. I have a handful of extras of these if you're interested. This one uh, featured the Merriest Trees bundle. So, um, Cutest Christmas. Is that what it's called? Berry Christmas, this one is the class, and the Merriest Trees is the class, is the club kit. So I have extras of these, they're ready to ship, I just will have to order product, which I will be doing on Monday. So let me know if you want one of those, just email me, let me know. 
Um, all right, I think I'm gonna flip the camera around because I have some other things I wanna show you a little bit better. And if I flip the camera around, it's a little bit easier to do that. And my, my iPad has turned off, so let me see if I can turn that back on. See what you guys are saying. Tell us about your Thanksgiving. How was it? Ours was good. It was, you know, quiet. We just, our immediate family and my mom. It was nice. I like Thanksgiving. Christmas is too crazy. I, I you know, I've said this before. Christmas is not my favorite holiday just because it's so much. <laughs> but I do love Thanksgiving. It is a nice little little holiday tucked in between two crazy holidays. Okay, so this month's paper pumpkin, actually it's not this month, it's now last month's November paper pumpkin. I have a few extras um, of this like I do every month. I order a few extras just in case. Sometimes some of you forget. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I haven't even opened it to look. They're little houses. How stinking cute. This um, coordinates with last month's paper pumpkin kit. Um, but if you are interested in this kit, I have a couple of extras. Just email me and let me know. Sometimes um, but your credit card doesn't go through for whatever reason. Sometimes we switch credit cards. Or, you know, like when the credit card company calls you and says, there's been fraudulent activity on your account, so we're shutting it down and sending you a new card. I hate when that happens because then you forget everything that's attached to your card, all your automated things. And Paper Pumpkin is usually one of those things we forget about. So every month I hear from one or two of you that says, oh, I didn't get my Paper Pumpkin because my card got canceled, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, that's why I have extras. Um, if you need um, one of these, this is the November kit. Let me know. And I um, would be happy to send it to you. Um, okay, so look what I got in the mail, our spring catalog. It's actually called the January to April 2024 mini catalog and the celebration catalogs. Um, I put in an order, if you have ordered with me since last November, more than $50, I ordered you a catalog and it will be coming straight from Stamping Up. Um, they go media mail, so they take, they're like on the slow boat, especially right now, you guys, suddenly shipping has slowed down so much. I've heard from numerous people whose, um, kits that I shipped last Tuesday, their priority supposed to be today. They still haven't gotten them. Um, shipping has slowed down tremendously. So you gotta be patient, but they're coming. Um, if you have ordered with me between last November and this November, more than $50, I ordered you one. They're coming. Okay. And the catalogs go live, I believe on the 4th. Is that right? Let me look the 4th of January and celebration starts. Celebration is when you get something for free um, with a $50 purchase. Also, if you buy the starter kit starting um, December 4th, you can pick things from this as well. So I'll talk to you a little bit more about that next week, but just know it's coming one month. We have one month. I'm very excited. Um, Club Create for December. The cutoff is the 7th, so we have one more week, right? The 7th, maybe next third. Let me see. No, I'm wrong. What am I looking at? I'm on the wrong calendar. That's really weird. Isn't today the 1st? Yeah, so my calendar on my watch is wrong. Um, the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. So next Thursday is a deadline to sign up for this month's Club Create Kit. So this is the last time I'll tell you about it. Features the Modern Garden Bundle, four really fun cards, and three 3D projects this month. I'm going to show you how to use that 6x6 DSP to make um, little treats with it. All right, so this is uh, $45 a month. It comes with uh, about $20, $25, it's more like $25 now in product. Um, you have five projects that include shipping, a video tutorial, and a PDF. And then on your six month, if you stay for six months in a row, I give you $25 to spend on your, during your sixth month. And if you're a Club Create member, you should be getting an email from me the month before your six months. Sometimes you guys miss those and then you don't claim your 
credits, but just know that I send it the last week of the month before your sixth month. So if your sixth month is December, I actually sent it a couple of days ago. So make sure you look for that. You get to spend $25 on whatever you want and I include it in your six month kit. Um, the details for this are at the top of my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. There is a club create tab up there that has all the details and the link that you need. All right, so um, December, right? De December's kit, yes, <laughs> feature modern garden. Now, for those of you, um, my club create members, who always wanna know what's coming next, I can show you what's coming next. In January, we're gonna use the Lighter Than Air suite, and I started this morning designing projects for January's club, and I am madly in love with this suite. It is precious, it's adorable. These little hot air balloons are so cute, and the soft color palette that's in this paper is such a nice break from all the red and green that I've been doing. Um, so if you're a Club Create member, I have emailed you already, um, well, I emailed you about this month add-ons, and then at the very bottom, I put P.S. Hot Air Balloon is going to be our next Club Create for January. Now, you may not have the catalog yet, so you can't see it, but you can see it right here. All right, it's so cute. But that subscription period will start December 8th, okay? So if you want to sign up for this Club Create, I'll let you know when it's time, starting next Friday, okay? I'll have the, all the projects for you next week so that you can see them. Um, so the new catalog is coming. That means the current catalog, which is our mini holiday catalog is retiring. And last week I shared with you the last chance lists PDF. These tell you, it gets confusing. These, this list tells you what in that catalog is retiring. You'll never see it again. And a lot of these things have already sold out. We have a handful of papers the Oh Holy Night paper, the Merry Bold and Bright paper, the, um, oh, what's the other one? There's another one. So you, if you want anything on this list that's in that mini catalog, you need to make sure you get it before it sells out because I've heard from people who say, I had it in my cart and then when I went back to finish, it was already gone from my cart, it sold out. So jump on these things. If it's something that you have to have, make sure that you get them sooner rather than later okay um a lot of it is discounted you can see the discounts over here some of it that's 60 percent off i mean there's a lot in here that's on sale so make sure you look um also look at the the little asterisks sometimes the bundle will be retiring the bundle price which is that 10 percent discount but the stamps and dies will be in the next catalog just not as a bundle so that can be kind of confusing. Um, also, there's the carryover list, which means these are the items that you will see again. They'll either be online exclusives or they'll be in a future publication like the spring catalog or the next annual catalog or the next holiday catalog. So those are carrying over, okay? It's confusing to me and I've been doing this for a long time. So I'm sure some of you it's confusing too. So if you have questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to try to answer them because it can get crazy confusing. Um, okay, now let me show you my little baby that I worked on feverishly this week. I'm so excited about this year's calendar class. I do a calendar class every year and every year I say, I don't know if I'm gonna do this again because it's so much work. Um, it's 12, it's like designing 12 different projects. They're each individual calendar cards, but you guys love it. I always hear from you, please do the calendar class. And so I worked many late nights um, this week to get it done and I am so happy with the way it turned out. Um, so the calendar class, and here, here's my little caveat guys. It's really hard to design 12 calendar pages and limit it to one stamp set. I mean, I don't think I could do it. So I always think like, well, I did do it one time with that menagerie set, but that had a ton of stamps in it. But ever since then, what I've been doing is using stamps that were either Club Create stamps or Class to Go stamps. And this year I really struggled deciding what stamps to use. Um, and then I decided, because I love this brand new stamp set so much that I was gonna make it a theme, a cute critters theme. So these pages all have cute critters. 
um, one, two, three, four, five, I believe six pages. Yeah, because one of them uses the dies. Six of the calendar pages uses Fluffiest Friends. So you definitely want to get this bundle if you're going to get this class. Um, the other two stamp sets that are used, Days to Remember, is how you stamp your calendar. Um, it, this is such a cool stamp set. It will make a calendar for you for now until forever. Um, my PDF has a little video in there so you can see how to use this awesome stamp to make the correct uh, calendars. Um, so you'll need that stamp set as well. And then I used this new stamp throughout the year on four of the pages. Um, so those are the three main stamps. Now, you have to have this. Otherwise, you don't have any calendars. Other than that, you can sub what you have because you may not be able to get all of these stamps. And I understand that. So you look at your stamps, you know, like what cute animal stamps do you have? I used Playing in the Rain on three pages, three pages, I believe. Um, I can't remember now. Uh, Zany Zoo on three pages. Um, Marius Trees I used on two pages. Hey Chuck on one and Silly Goose on one. So, you know, I know that you can't just be like, okay, I'm going to order the class. I'm going to order all seven bundles or whatever. That's a lot. But you can just use what you have. You could order one or two that you may want. Um, the one that you have to have is this one. Other than that, you can sub whatever else you have, okay? So the class is 12 calendar pages. And this year I found these really cool stands like this for them to stand in. We've done easels before, but this is actually designed to hold the calendar page. Isn't that neat? So that's um, something you can add to your kit. Some of you have been taking my calendar class every year, so you have the easels, you don't need it. But anyway, that's an option. The class kit will have everything you need to make these uh, 12 calendar pages. Um, I will do cutting, score, well, there's no scoring on this, cutting and punching and die cutting of things that weren't in these bundles. So like Marius trees, you'll need that whole bundle, right? So you cut your own tree. But if there's like a circle or like a scalloped rectangle, I'll cut that for you. Um, you'll need obviously your own ink and adhesive. Um, you're gonna get two full packs of paper. I'm using the Subtles and the Neutrals Designer Series paper. And look, this is all the paper. You're gonna have a lot left over too. So you can make multiples if you want. Um, you're gonna get a bolt of ribbon and a bolt of linen thread. Now this class, I have a post-it, is $67. Doesn't include any of the stamps. It includes all this other stuff. And it includes shipping and a 13 page PDF. Um, the PDF only version is also available for $20, and that's already in my PDF store. Um, if you want the kit, I sent that out in an email yesterday, the link to register. If you didn't get it, please email me because I'm not allowed to list that link directly on social media or my blog. I can only send it through email. Um, the deadline to register for this is December 15th. I'm going to have them in the mail before the new year. My goal will be the 28th. If by some miracle I can get them out before Christmas, I will, but I'm not going to guarantee that because you guys know. I've got Club Create coming up. I've got all kinds of things to get out before this. So this will be coming in early January for you. So it's it's not for Christmas, okay? Um, it's the 2024 calendars. Um, also my team, you guys have a discounted kit for 30 bucks, okay? Okay. I think I got all of that out. That was a lot of detail on that. There is a whole blog post typed up with tons of information. So make sure you go back and look at that, okay? Okay, well, today's Facebook Friday is different. If you didn't hear me at the beginning, we are in the middle. Well, we're day three in our 12 Days of Christmas series. I do these every year. Yesterday and the day before, I had two videos. Um, Day one was our sparkling snowflake project. So there's a video for that on my blog and on Facebook. And then yesterday was the joy to you. This is my little Debbie inspired box, little Debbie Christmas cake inspired box with a matching card. Um, so there's videos for those. Now today we're doing sending cheer, okay? There is a schedule at the top of every blog post that tells you what I'm gonna use. Um, 
I hate to work, you know, I like to work ahead. That's how I function. I work way ahead. But for this, it's hard to work ahead because these things might sell out and that's happened in the past. And then I have projects and I hate to show projects as something you can't get. So this is tentative in case things sell out, okay? So these, all these days will be pre-recorded videos except for today and next Friday. And then the last day will be Facebook Live as well. Um, we are doing free projects with the purchase as always. So today's projects that we're doing are the three projects you'll get for free if you order um, between actually really this past Tuesday all the way until Monday at midnight. And here's this week's host code. There is not a PDF for this. Um, everything is in each blog post. But at the end of the 12 days, I will have a PDF that has all the projects, 25 projects it'll be, maybe even more depending on what I come up with. Um, so that will be coming and that will be free with anybody who shops with me this month. Okay. All right. Let's do prizes real quick. I have a handful of prizes. Lisa Carter is our uh, winner from last week. And then every day on every blog post, I have a link that you click and you enter for a door prize. So I'm giving away 12 different prizes over these 12 days. So make sure every day at least you come, scroll down, it's toward the bottom, click on that link. I ask you like what your favorite Christmas song is, what's your favorite Christmas cookie, blah, 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 whatever. Each day it's a different question. I ask you for your email and your mailing address just so that I can mail your prize. I'm not gonna send you anything else, I promise. Um, and so the uh, Karen is our winner from day one and Darcy is our winner from day two. And I have both of your mailing addresses, so I will get these stamp sets out to you. Thanks for playing, guys. I appreciate it. Um, so make sure you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and find that link so that you could be entered to win. I've got lots of prizes. Okay, I think we are ready to get started. So today I have three projects, but I usually only do two projects for the 12 days of Christmas. But today I came up with a third. I love this bundle so much. So we actually have three today, okay? Um, the first one we're gonna make is a card of the little gingerbread cookies. I love these dies. Now these dies, you guys, let's take a look at these. These dies have a little, a little, what do you call it? A little loop for you to use it as a gift tag. Okay, so right here you could just cut out a bunch and make gift tags. You've got a um, gingerbread man, a stocking, a hat, a little, just a tag and a gift. And even these two are little tags too. So um, of course, me being me, I didn't really use them that way, <laughs> of course. Um, but that's their intended purpose. I like to show you different ways to use them. Um, in our first project, we're gonna make a card. So. Let's make our background first because it kind of needs to dry so that everything can stick to it. And do you guys like my color combo? This is uh, Flirty Flamingo and Pecan Pie. I love these two colors together. And the green I use is Granny Apple Green. I was really happy with this combo. Haven't used it before. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do, I hope I, now look guys, y'all have to be patient with me today <laughs> because I usually, record these videos ahead of time so that I have like a, a rehearsal, right? Well, I didn't do that today, so who knows? Who knows what's gonna go wrong? Usually things go wrong, even when I do a rehearsal. So who knows what today is gonna be like? Um, okay, so you're gonna need a blending brush and your Flirty Flamingo ink. This is a piece of Flirty Flamingo cardstock that is three and three fourths by five. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people online adding ink to colored cardstock. I feel like it's a trend right now, and I really like it. So I have been doing it a lot lately, too. Um, prepare, be prepared to see it a lot. <laughs> um, adding ink straight to your colored cardstock just gives you a more, like, vibrant color, right? Just kind of makes it a little more intense. Oh, I need to leave that open. Um, I wanted to stamp a heart, and this stamp set does not have a heart, so I am using the Heartfelt Hexagon Heart. This stamp set is actually, come. it's, a, it's available online because we used it for um, World Card Making Day, 
So Stampin' Up! brought it out early, but it's actually in the new spring catalog. But I looked today and it is still available online. All right, so we're just gonna stamp this heart a couple times, a few times, and I'm gonna stamp once and then stamp again so that we have kind of a lighter heart as well. And it's pretty light, that light heart. Okay, so just kind of stamp them in around where you want them. Okay, just sporadic. And then, we're not done yet. I'm gonna take my Flirty Flamingo Dark and I'm gonna flick some ink on here, some splatter, kind of around the outside edges because it's not gonna really show up too much on that middle section, like that. And then let's add some Week of Stella. Do I have my silicone mat? I do not. So to get your Week of Stella, if you get like a little drop to come out like that and then flick, you can pick it up with a brush and flick it. And it really adds a nice level of shimmer to your card. I love doing this. Okay, but just do a tiny bit because you'll waste your wink of Stella if you put too much on there. Okay, so there, now that is gonna dry. Cute, right? So far, so good. Now we're gonna stamp our little gingerbread man. And I've already done one. The, I will tell you the hardest part of this card is these tiny little, <laughs> these itty bitty teeny tiny hearts. But if you ever take your pick tool, it won't be a problem. All right, so I've done one, you've gotta do two. You're gonna stamp them, or you're gonna cut them out of um, pecan pie cardstock. And then just take your paper snip and just kind of rotate your scissors so that you get that rounded edge there on the top of his head, okay? Easy. And then let's emboss like icing. Have you guys made any Christmas cookies yet? We definitely did make some Christmas cookies over the break. We made just good old sugar cookies with buttercream frosting. That's our favorite. It's so good, so good. All right, so now I'm gonna, do I have my embossing buddy? I thought I had it here. Yeah, I just dumped it out. Um, if you rub this with your embossing putty, it's gonna um, reduce any static that you have that will hold on to those little granules and put them where you don't want them. So run it over your piece, stamp it with Versamark, and then there we go. We got a little white face like icing. Hit it with your heat tool. Oh, you're not too far behind, Kimberly. It's only December 1st. If you, you know, you got plenty of time because now our Christmas cookies are gone. We've eaten them all. So we have to make more. <laughs> you know, you're not too late at all. All right. I just like, you know, I cook a lot. And my husband's always like, oh, I'm so thankful you could. I'm like, hey, I cook for myself. I like to eat. That's why I like to cook, because I like to eat. <laughs> I, I'm, I mean, truly, it's selfish motives there. I like to eat. Um, but yeah, we'll make more cookies for sure. And that um, Christmas tree cake, the Little Debbie Christmas tree cake was really easy to make, and it was delicious too. It wasn't too sweet. It was kind of light. It was good. Um, all right, see this die right here, this teeny tiny little heart 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 you can cut three of these out at a time which is nice and it helps you also hopefully not lose the dies because if they're you know if it was just the individual little heart boy I would have lost it the first time around now I've done all the die cutting ahead of time today just to save us the tedious work but get your take your pick tool and pick up those little hearts and just adhere them Right there. I've started my Christmas shopping. I always start that on Thanksgiving, but boy, the girls just all want expensive things. Everything they want is expensive. So it's kind of, you know, another level of stress. Like, oh, I don't want to spend this much money. It's a little hard. These teenagers, all the electronics and shoes they want. Uh, you know, I miss the days of $30 toys. 
All right, there's our little cuties. Now also, we're going to stamp um, our holly. And we're gonna do these in Granny Apple Green. And then just to match our color scheme, we're gonna do pink holly berries. Because why not? We can do whatever we want. Okay. And then, did I leave myself enough room for our sentiment? I don't know, I have another piece of paper over here. I thought I left, yeah, let me grab it. We're gonna stamp, whoa. We don't wanna stamp the back of the block. Stamp sending chair right there in pecan pie. Now there's these little tiny dies. Again, this is for the holly berries and this is for the holly leaves. I have done it ahead of time so that you don't have to watch me struggle to cut out those tiny little babies. They're very small. All right. So now I'm just gonna cut this I'm not gonna use my trimmer, I'm just gonna use my scissors. I'm a rebel today. All right, so you just wanna cut these into rectangles, okay? So just cut the cardstock so that it's framing your words. All right, so now we've got all of our pieces. I think we're ready to put it all together. We need dimensionals. And I hate when my dimensional sheet looks like this. I hate when I get down to the border. I mean, I'll use it, but it's not my favorite. Do you guys feel like that? I mean, I'm not gonna throw it away, that's for sure. You know what, I want this guy to be a little bit taller. So I'm gonna get my others. I just got a new package of dimensionals. I'm gonna get that out. I'm gonna make him a little bit taller. So I'm gonna put two dimensionals on the back of him. All right, so he's a little bit higher. And then we will, let's do Holly here. Come on, glue, come on, glue. Oh, don't do this. You just worked a second ago. You know what's gonna happen, right? It feels like it's not coming down. Hmm, I mean, did I not just use this glue just like one minute ago? Oh, let me see, do I have another one over there? Okay, let me go grab my other one. Just a minute, please. That's a pretty new glue too. I think this one's gonna work. All right, so we'll put Holly there and there and there. And then I've got them right here. So we're gonna save that shaded spruce Holly for the third project. So we've got that and that. And that, and then we're gonna put, I feel like this one needs to be a little bit further out. And then we're gonna put another, whoa, that was a giant dot. All right, let's see if I can get it with my finger. That was gonna be a disaster. <laughs> it would have been a disaster, guys. Oh, hello, take that off. And then you can just use your, take your pick tool, Tell Santa you need to take your pick tool for Christmas if you don't have one yet. I'm telling you, I don't know how I lived without a take your pick tool before. Okay, so there we've got that. Now, you know what, I'm gonna use the edges here of my dimensionals for my words. If I have to use them, we'll use them on our skinny words. So then, we're just gonna take this. Why do I feel like, I guess my guys are over a little bit further than they were on the other card. So let's move them over like that. Sending. And then, cheer. Unscrew the other lid for a sec and the air will make it come out in the small end. What, Cliffy? Okay, let's try it. She says, unscrew the other lid for a sec and the air will make it come out. Okay, so open that and then open that. I always forget that it has another end. I never use it. <gasps> Look what just happened. 
Um, Clivy, you forgot to tell me not to do it over my project. That's a user error for sure. User error. Okay, let's move the project and try it again. Okay, now let's put it back. I like that. Look, did it work? Did it work? No, it's still not working. It feels like the glue isn't coming down. Maybe it's dry on the inside. And now I'm sticky. This is the stickiest glue there is, you guys. I hate it when I get it on my hands. I love it, but I hate it when I get it on my hands. Okay, we'll try. Oh, I will have surgery. We'll have surgery later on with our glue and see if we can get it to work. Now, this piece has glue all over it. It's going in the trash. All right, now for your card base, I've got a pecan pie card base. And I actually cut my paper, not four by five and a fourth like I normally do, but I cut it four and a fourth by five and a half. So it's gonna completely cover up my card base, okay? And then we're gonna put this guy on. These little strips are really good for this, what we're gonna do right now. When you're mounting a big piece, cut these edges and it's perfect for this. All right. Um, yeah, you know what, um, Sandra, I usually put a needle in them and I don't know where my needles are. <laughs> <laughs> I earlier today needed one for one of my reinkers, and I can't find, I have a little donut thing that has all my needles in it. I don't know where I put it. You know, new craft room. I don't know where things are yet. I, I mean, how long have I been here? Six months. And I'm, I'm like, I don't know where it is. I'm gonna have to dig around for my, my needles. It does. Yes. The needle will work for sure. Okay. So now that little glue thing that, that was there, we're just going to cover that up with a snowflake. You know, I've seen this thing that online that says mistakes are just a reason to embellish, right? So if you ever have a mistake, just look at it as a reason to add an embellishment. And that's what I did right there. Everything pretty much can be fixed, pretty much. Okay, so then for the inside, let's add a little bit of holly to the inside. I'm gonna just do one like there and one right there. And then let's open Flirty Flamingo again. Thanks, Pamela. I like this card too. I was like, oh, this is cute. It's pink, that's why. Some berries there and some berries there. Now, if you're not a pink person, just change it to red. It'll be perfect with red, real red. All right, and voila, we are done. No ribbon on this card. We don't have Flirty Flamingo ribbon right now. We need some. All right, there you go. There's card number one. It's pretty cute. Now, my second project, what I've been trying to do for 12, my 12 day series is make the two projects coordinate so they can go together or just so that they look cute when you take a picture of them together. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, but today's third project is an oddball. It doesn't match. But my second project definitely matches, okay? So let me bring that over here. And it's this little tiny chocolate holder, and it opens up like this. And it has these. Have you guys seen these Merci chocolates? I mean, I thought this was a European chocolate, but I'm seeing them just everywhere in the grocery store and stuff. So maybe it was a European chocolate. And now it's here, or maybe I'm just ill-informed. They look like this when you buy them. Okay, they come in a fancy box like this. And they come in like different, they have different flavors. Um, does it not say? Oh, coffee and cream, that one. This one says chocolate a la creme. This one says hazelnut almond. That's my husband's favorite. Dark chocolate. Um, this one, praline, oh, praline, yummy. I'm gonna put that one aside for later. Um, mousse, dark mousse. And this one is marzipan, marzipan. Wow, these are fancy. And this one is hazelnut cream, okay? So 
voila, you have all of these. They all come in this box like this. I linked it on Amazon if you want to order them. They are on Amazon too. I got them just at my local grocery store. Um, one thing you're going to need for this is a small circle punch. And I kind of think that I need my three-quarter circle punch and not my one inch. Maybe it's the one inch. Let me look. Mm, maybe it, mm, I can't tell. Either one I think will work. You just need a small circle punch. We don't sell these anymore, but I'm sure you guys have them. Or just look at your dies. I'm sure you have some kind of small circle or oval or something that will hold it. Okay, so do I have my measurements? My measurement notes. Where's my note over here? Hold on. Usually I have a PDF with these and I do not have a PDF this week. I have a scribbled post-it note. All right, so first you're gonna need a two by nine and a half inch piece of pecan pie and we're gonna score it at two. See if I can read my own handwriting. Two and a half, five and three fourths, and six and a fourth. Now, they are typed on today's post, all right? Um, Heidi, am I making crack corn again this year? So, yes, I've already bought the stuff for it, but, you know, I'm a little nervous because we have a new, you know, we have a new house. We have a new microwave, and all microwaves are different. When last year we had replaced our microwave and it did not cook the crack corn the same, and it... it, it it, it makes it either chewy or uh, uh, burns it either. Like if you go too high, it burns it. If you don't cook it enough, it's chewy. So I'm nervous about the microwave situation. Last year, my new microwave did not cook it right. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> crack corn. Search crack corn on my blog if you want the recipe. It is the world's best, is delicious, most fabulous thing you'll ever put in your mouth and I make it at Christmas. Okay, so fold in your little piece like this. And you have the little smaller piece here in the front, and then this piece is gonna go on the inside. You wanna put your DSP on here first. So again, we're using our Pecan Pie Designer Series paper. Glorious Gingham is what this paper is called. Okay, and so this is gonna fold in like this and this is gonna go over like this. So this one is where we need to punch this hole. All right, and I don't know, I feel like one inch. No, maybe that's right. Hold on, let me grab my three quarters of an inch and let me see. Hold please. Let's see if I can actually find it. Yes, here it is. Oh, you know what? I think this is too small. So I think the one inch is the right. Look, I'm thinking that's too small. What do you guys think? Yeah, no, I think it is the one inch. Okay, so take your one inch and kind of center it, pushed it all the way down and punch. For sure, for sure the one inch. All right, then get your tear and tape because you really want this to stick up here at the top. And put this behind. You guys, we have um, landscape work being done in our backyard. I have a story to tell you. And you're gonna hear this right here like this. Okay, so see how that looks? We have uh, landscaping being done in our backyard. And when I say landscaping, I mean they are taking a piece of like raw earth <laughs> and trying to turn it into a backyard. Our um, new house backs up to a state park and it's very rugged, very rocky, full of cedars, it's crazy. So they have been out there. See how that fits in, isn't that cute? They have been out there for over a week now working. They brought in four dump trucks, huge dump trucks of topsoil. Cause here in Texas, we just have rock. We don't have a lot of dirt. So they have to put topsoil down before they can actually put grass. And I'm gonna make this story fast. It rained for about 24 hours. And I don't mean like good rain. I mean like that nasty drizzle rain. And yesterday the dogs went out and they brought the entire backyard into my house. All over the stairs, carpeted stairs, all over my white rug, all over my bedspread. Yeah. So we're looking for new owners <laughs> for the dogs. It has been a week of lots of vacuuming, 
lots of cleaning. I'm joking about new owners, you guys know, but still, it has been awful. And you know what, I was out here working and Ted, my husband works at home, he left for the afternoon. I hadn't gone in, he came home, he texted me and he, a bunch of words that I cannot repeat. And he doesn't usually react to messes like that, but it was bad. It was real bad. And it's that sticky, it's a good dirt, you know, that sticky mud. Oh, it was awful. We're going to have to have, I think we're going to have to have a professional come out and clean. We don't have a lot of carpet, luckily. But the carpet that we do have, I think that they're going to have to come out and uh, have that professionally cleaned. We got, we got a lot of it out. <sighs> yes, thank you. I'm glad. I Thank you for the sympathy. Those dogs. So, Nancy, we don't really have a mudroom because it barely rains here. <laughs> It doesn't really rain here. Um, when I say we need rain, I'm like, we do, you know, we're in extreme drought right now, but it wasn't even a good rain. I can't even be happy about the rain. It was just that drizzly, nasty, you know, yuck. Um, yes, Cliffy, I'm the, the ding dong that took both lids off of the glue when I tried it. I thought that's what you said. If I take them both off, then the air would go through. I didn't think that through, Cliffy. I didn't think it through. I didn't. I was excited to try it. I didn't think it through. I know. These are the things that happen when you are doing a Facebook Live and you're not thinking straight. These are the things that happen. You make dumb decisions. Dumb, dumb, dumb decisions. I mean, I'll blame it on Facebook Live, but that is something I would probably do off of Facebook Live too. Okay. Present was stamped in uh, Flirty Flamingo. And you see how it has that bow? That's how you can tie it onto your gift. But we don't want that for this. So we're just going to cut it right on off. Just get on out of here. We don't need it. Now, I've cut the ribbon die in Granny Apple. And I might have put that glue up a little bit higher than I should have. No, that's good. Then you're going to put that on there like that. All right. And then I have cut out one of the little, no, stay there. Um, I've cut out one of these little white tags and I'm gonna stamp, there's cute little words in here. For you, open me, no peeking. I mean, those are good, just real simple, like gift sentiments. So open me right here. There we go. And then we're gonna put this on here with a dimensional. I have two bowls here. I have a bowl of little pieces that I cut and then I have another bowl for trash and I keep putting my trash in the wrong bowl. All right, open me. And in there you can see I've cut a little flirty flamingo hearts, very cute. Where's my take your pick tool? Nope, again. Why do I keep putting the lid back on that? All right, so there we go. Um, I'm gonna use, I haven't used my in color twine in a while, but this this works. This is um, Parakeet Party, but I think Parakeet Party, Lemon Lime Twist, and Granny Apple Green embellishments all can be used intertwined, if you will. See what I did there, intertwined? Um, because they're similar. So this is Parakeet Party twine, whoops, but it goes just fine. All right, glue dots. I'm at the end of my roll with my glue dots. I really wish they would start rolling these glue dots back the right way. If you guys have been using glue dots for a while, you know what I'm talking about. It's driving me bonkers. All right, so there we go, we've got that. And then we're gonna use this to hold this closed, okay? So it's gonna flip in like that and then slide behind there. So you wanna take dimensionals and, hi, Lori, yes, this is a good set, I agree. And I'm surprised, it's actually really on sale. I meant to mention that. Let me let me um, get that sheet real quick and we'll look, because it is, it is discounted if I've, if I remember correctly, heavily. All right, so dimensionals at the bottom like that so that then it'll hold that lid closed. Um, let's look real quick. 
sending cheer. How fast can I find it? Skim, skim, skim. Sending cheer. The dies are 40% off. And the stamp set is 40% off. So that makes it 21, 31, 35 dollars for the bundle. That's pretty good. Original price was uh, what did I see? 54? 53. It's pretty good. You guys get it. You need to get it. All right, last but not least, let's see if this glue is gonna do what I need it to do. We're gonna put a few little hearts in the corner. If these hearts annoy you with their little tediousness, just leave them off. Or get some um, pearls or, we, we used to have heart pearls, that would work too. Do we still have, we don't still have heart pearls, right? Didn't they retire? I love the heart pearls. And I can't ever remember what has retired, what is current. It's hard to keep up with. All right, and one more, and there you go. It's a really easy treat to make. It's little and cute and fun. And one box of these Merci chocolates. They have, they have a commercial for these, don't they? I feel like I've seen a commercial. Um, how many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So 20 all together. Merci. You can get a lot of little treats out of here. All righty, all righty. Um, we didn't have them very long, did we, Lois? I love those heart pearls. They were so cute. I just was looking at something I did a year ago. It was the last calendar kit I did. I used those pearls. So cute. All right, we got one more project. This is our bonus project for today. And I couldn't not make this when I saw these at Target. Hold on, let me grab my stuff. So here, we've made this kind of box before with the squirrels. If you guys have been around for a while, I went back to look. And we made it with the squirrels and we put nuts in here. But today, we're going to put these Twix Santas. It's a two to go is what it's called. There's two in here. And I had a hard time finding them on Amazon. I got it at Target. So maybe it's a Target exclusive. So I did link it there for you. It's over, you know, Target has their Christmas section. Like they have like a whole wall of like little candy and stuff for stocking stuffers. That's where they were. Okay. So it's like a little box in a, in a wrap and like a little card stock wrap. And I'm not going to try to put that back on there for right now, but that's what we're going to make. See, we just are going to use, we're actually going to use the hat tag as it's intended today. All right, let me grab my assembly board and my cardstock and my notes, and let's see what we're gonna do. First, you need this long piece. You know what, I need a drink, hold on. Sandy says, I bought an extra set because I love this bundle. Smart, Sandy, very smart, I love it too. I'm surprised it's taken me this long to get to it. It's just, it's one of my favorites. Um, okay, this piece is, let me look at my notes, 10 by six, okay? This is shaded spruce. And we're gonna score it at one and two on all four sides. We're, this is gonna be the kind of box that has reinforced sides. It's gonna have double walled sides for strength. All right, before I take that away, the other piece that you need, and I'm going to need to trim this because, hold on, I realized I had the wrong size. It needs to be seven, not seven and a fourth. It should say seven on my blog. Seven by six and a half. And on the seven inch side, you're going to score it at three fourths, one and three fourths, three and seven eighths, and four and seven eighths. Okay, we're gonna put that one aside for a minute. And we're gonna get this one and burnish these lines. We're gonna do the little Tetris um, corner. That's what I call it when you cut the three corners out of the, the three squares out of each corner. It looks like that Tetris piece. And when you do, you can cut in like that, but then only cut off three of them. OK, 
okay? And I like to cut the corners off of these little tabs too. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what's happening? So my daughter is playing in her third basketball tournament in three weeks. She has missed a ton of school. High school sports are no joke. I mean, in middle school, I think they had six games total. She's playing multiple games a week. And so she's on JV, but her coach has her coming to the varsity games and keeping stats. So she's traveling with a varsity team also. This girl, I don't know. She's got to be exhausted. So she's at a game right now. We've got a game at 430. We had a game last night. We have a game tomorrow. Whew. Tennis, my girls, my older girls have played high school tennis, varsity, both of them. But I don't, I don't know why if this basketball just feels very intense. Because they do have, they have weekly tennis tournaments. I guess they did miss a lot of school too. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm having a driver. She doesn't have her driver's license. So I'm having a driver. 6.30 a.m. practice. She likes to be there early. So we have to get there, you know, by 6. <sighs> a lot last night she doesn't she doesn't she's not a real emotional kid she doesn't you know get get upset very often but last night she was upset because she didn't play well she said and I was like you played fine because they were playing against a varsity team and they're the JV team and she broke down was very upset and she had an air ball she said her coach said something to her about the air ball I was like you know what at least I mean at least she scored a fourth of their points last night. So give me a break. You know, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. I was not a high school athlete, so I cannot relate. Okay, back to this. This is what you did. Three squares, right? You cut the three squares out, and then we cut everything at an angle so that it goes well together. Um, Pamela, she is very dedicated. Out of the three of my girls, she's the most really just driven. Um, she, since she was a tiny baby, she, if she wants something, man, she will get it. She will go after it and she will get it. And that's how she's been with basketball. She's very, very driven. All right. So I'm going to adhere these tabs into the sides. My mom calls my youngest dripping water. <laughs> I don't know if my mom's on here, but it's because she never gives up. And usually it's when she wants something, she's like dripping water. She will drip, drip, drip until you give in. Um, but she's like that. It's good too with other things, you know, things that she likes like basketball and music. And she also plays the uh, uh, violin and, and the piano. And she, we hear up there just constantly playing. So She's very driven. And that's something that you really can't like teach your kids to be driven, you know, self-motivated. They just either born that way or they're not, I think. Um, I don't believe I was like that at her age. Maybe as, oh, as I got older, I became a little more like that, but definitely not at her age. All right, so I put adhesive on these flaps like this and we're gonna fold them down like that. So now you have just this really sturdy, double walled box okay like this and we're gonna put those clothes pins on there and get that glue to dry all right now for this other piece let me get all my pieces over here this is called the joyous specialty paper let's see it's not sold out yet. Is it on sale? It is not on sale. Oh, it's only $12 though. I thought it was more expensive than that. It's $12 and it's 12 by 12 and it has um, gold in it. It's uh, gold foiled paper. It's very pretty. The other paper that goes along with that paper, the Joy to You, is that what it's called? No, Joyous Chris, jo Joy of Christmas, let me look, let me look. It's sold out, which I'm upset about because I loved it. What's it called? I can't see it. Joyful special, oh, this is Joyful Specialty Paper. What was I looking at? Was I looking at that? Hold on, hold on. 
I'm talking at the same time. What was I looking at down here? Joyous, joyful specialty paper. Yeah, $12. Okay, Joy of Christmas paper is $12.50. Now, wait a minute. You're telling me this paper is less than the other paper? Is that right, you guys? This paper is $12, and the other paper that went with it was $12.50. Is that right? Is it because it has less in the package? But it's fancy. It's fancy. That, hmm. Interesting. Usually the fancy paper is more expensive. Okay, so it's because you get less sheets. All right, well, I'd rather, yeah, because I don't like, you know, sometimes I feel like I don't want to spend that much on pack of paper. So I'd rather get a few ex less sheets and not have to spend so much. Is that bad? I don't know. And maybe I'm just cheap. <laughs> okay. I'm going to adhere this. Did I score this wrong? You guys didn't tell me I scored it wrong before I put my paper on there. Hold on, we gotta fix it. You know what, I have another one over here. Let's go back and look. What did I do wrong? Because this one is right. Let's see. Your measurements need to be three-fourths, one and three-fourths, three and seven-eighths, and four and seven-eighths. What did I do wrong over here? Did I not do it right? Oh, I put those, let's see, I did three-fourths, one and three-fourths. No, I see, okay, I did it wrong. I told you the right ones, but I did them wrong, huh? Can I peel this off, will it come off? <gasps> Maybe, it's very sturdy paper. Let's see. I tested it out, tested my measurements out before. But the problem is, is I start talking. You guys gotta, like, not let me talk. All right, all right. We've salvaged the fancy paper. We have salvaged it. Let's put it there. So see what I did? I put the two one inch sections together here in the middle. I don't know how I did that. Now, will this paper come off? I don't know, this is pretty thin. Okay, everybody hold your breath. Let's see, uh, I don't know, I may have to cut another one. No, no, hold on, I'm almost there. <sighs> I got it, I did it. I salvaged it, I saved it. Hooray. All right. Back to your regularly scheduled craft project. We have fixed our errors. So let's make sure we got our measurements right. Three fourths. One and three fourths. Three and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. Okay. I don't know what I did. I did something. All right. So there. Now see how it folds over like that and it makes like a little tube there for you. We're gonna adhere this on the end side. And I think I'm just gonna use Stampin' Sale. Now you can decide, do you want the gold to be on that side or do you want it to be on that side? I kind of feel like it should be on the left side. What do you guys think? And then it opens like that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so put your adhesive and you wanna be really generous right here. Liquid glue would probably be better here. And you're gonna center this little tray right in the middle of those score lines, okay? And then put your double Twix in there like that. And then you close the door and grab all your embellishments. It's beautiful online only ribbon, red and gold. This is the ribbon I used for the Harry Potter card because it reminded me of their scarves. Okay, tie your bow. Pull it through so that the dots are on the top. Again, I always tell you, tell it ribbon that you're the boss and it has to do what you're gonna tell it to do and to flip over and it will do it. It will listen to you. It's gotta show them who's in charge. Okay, so now we're gonna make the little tag and I've already done all the cutting. We've got a real red um, hat and a white little fur. If you have, we used to have some flocked paper. If you have the flocked paper, I'm trying to use that stupid glue that's clogged. Um, if you have our flocked paper from a while ago, that would be cute here with a hat. And then I stamped the same holly that we used in the last project, but this time I did it in shaded spruce. 
and real red, traditional holly colors. Okay, and you know, the thing with that glue that I, that trips me up sometimes is that you have to put the lid back on that glue immediately. And sometimes I'll get busy and then I come back and the glue has been open for 30 minutes. Have you guys ever done that? And you're like, oh no. I think once you do that, it's days are numbered. It's a good glue. I just gotta remember to put the lid back on. All right, I'm gonna thread this. So we're actually using this as a tag this time, not as a non-tag. Um, I didn't use a sentiment on this. Do you guys think it needs a sentiment? I could have stamped to and from, but then I was like, where would I put it? It's just cute like that. I guess you could put it maybe down here if you wanted. All right, there you go. Bonus project number three. Let's see, can I get this back on here? My mailman's gonna get one of these next week. My mailman and I have become friends. I think, we, I think we've got things worked out. He picked up all those retreat boxes last week and shoved them in his tiny little car and took them to the post office for me. I was pretty impressed. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna really try to treat him so that he will continue <laughs> to pick up all of our goodies. All right, you guys, that is it for today. Oh, I need to show you our jumbo cards that we made. Um, my team at our team meeting, we always do a make and take set of make and take projects. And last month we made these giant gift tags. So they're four, no, they're three by six. So if you have the, um, ging, if you're using the gingham paper here, you can get two out of one sheet. Isn't that cute? Look at those with the, the bling on them. And then the no peeking, very cute stockings and then here's another one sending cheer so just a few more little ideas for you okay so remember things are different this month there's no pdf but i will be sending these as free make and takes if you order by monday at midnight minimum order 35 dollars um make sure you use the host code if your order is over 150 don't use the host code and i'll still send you the projects i will cut projects on Tuesday, send them in the mail on Wednesday. But please remember the mail is like, has come to a screeching halt because everybody's mailing and it's taking extra long. Okay, you guys, I will not be live again until next Friday, but Monday will be Forever Forest. Tuesday will be Merry and Bright. My Forever Forest projects may be my favorite yet, um, which is funny because I was kind of like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... And then it, when I did it, I loved it. Mary and Bright, Shop the Town, that's where I've stopped. Hopefully I will get the other two done. Very cute and so very merry. I don't know, I may switch those. I may do, I don't know, we'll see. Stay tuned, all right? <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying 12 Days of Christmas. Let me know if you have questions and have a great weekend, okay? I'll see you next week. Bye.